Hello there and welcome to another edition of Blue Modeling Made Easy. In this video I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable base cap. You're going to require two 260Q modeling balloons. You want to fully inflate one of the balloons. Then with the second balloon you want to leave approximately one and a half inches uninflated. From the tiny end you're going to make a bubble approximately an inch. And give that an air twist. Then you need to take the knot and tie it round like so to secure it. Make approximately a five inch loop and twist, lock twist. Repeat the procedure. So you've got two bubbles or two loops the same size. And you've got now what looks a lot like a sword, okay, but with a very small handle. If you've got another balloon uninflated, then you just want to give it a squeeze. Okay, this one's okay. You take the remaining balloon, which is fully inflated, you take one of the ends, place it through one of the loops, you take the other end, place it through one of the other loops. Okay, then you want to line them up like so, all three balloons lined up. Then you want to, I'm going to do approximately, you want to do approximately an inch from the end of each, of each part of the balloon, lock twist, like so. It's a little bit small, this, it's not going to fit my head, but that's the great thing about it being an adjustable baseball cap. All you need to do is adjust it like so. And you now have an adjustable baseball cap. Thank you for watching. In this edition, I'm going to show you how to make a snail. For this, you're going to require two 260Q modeling balloons. I'm using Koala Text because they're not just very popular, but they're also very, very reliable. So you want to take one of your balloons and leave approximately one and a half inches uninflated. On the tying end, make approximately one and a half inch bubble. Then two one inch bubbles, give them an ear twist. So a one inch bubble, ear twist, another one inch bubble, ear twist, and then we'll just lock them in place like so. Approximately a five, six inch bubble, and then loop, and then lock twist them like so. Any of the balloon left uninflated, just simply give it a squeeze like so. Then you want to Simply copy this procedure and just curl it up and then you fit it in the loop. Without put, don't put it in through all the way through, just a little bit. You've got to be careful not to pop it. Almost finished. Take a second balloon. You want to inflate approximately two or three inches. Bring it to the center, then find the center of this bubble. Tricky sometimes. Ah, drop the balloon on the floor. <laughs> then from the first balloon with this one, you want to the first bubble. Make a fox from the tiny end here. Make approximately one inch bubble, and then lock it with the with these antennas with the, this being the red balloon. I'm having a few difficulties with this one. And then lock twist and then just secure it by twist it around a few times. And now you've got a really nice snail. It's uh, quite a slow on this one because it's a snail. Hello there and welcome to another edition of Blue Modeling Made Easy. I'm now going to show you how to make an alien gun or laser gun involving 262 modeling balloons. For this you want to fully inflate a balloon, then with the second balloon you want to leave approximately one and a half inches uninflated. From the tying end you want to make approximately one one and a half inch bubble. A one inch bubble, give that an air twist. Another 
bubble, the same size of the, approximately the same size of the first one, so about one and a half inches. Another, uh, you will now want to do a approximately a five, four or five inch loop and twist, lock twist. And we do approximately a, a, a two inch bubble. Another loop the same size as this one. Lock twist. It looks a lot like a dog at the moment with a very long towel. A dog with one ear. Now what you want to do is take the second balloon and you want to form a loop. Okay, so you try the knot with the other part of the end of the balloon. Form a circle. Find the centre like so. A little twist. Take one of the ends, push it through one of the loops, and then you do the same with one. All we need to do now is work out how you want to position the gun. And you now need to finish off by doing from this end here, from the not the tying end. Just from here, do a one inch bubble, do an air twist, and then you should have enough at the end for the handle. And you've got a really, really nice. Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Blue Modeling Made Easy. I'm now going to show you how to make a rocket nose. For this, you're going to need two 60 Q modeling balloons. Fully inflate one of the balloons, make sure the balloon is not too hard. So it needs to be nice and soft, okay? That's just so it won't pop. You'll understand why in a few moments. For the second balloon, you want to leave approximately one and a half inches uninflated. I would say probably more like two inches. From the tying end, you want to make a bubble of approximately one and a half inches. One and a half inch bubble, give that an air twist. Another one inch bubble, give that one an air twist. That forms the head of the nose and the two ears. So they've been lock twisted together, okay? From about five inches down, do a bubble. Then approximately two in two maybe three inches of another bubble. In fact you want to do two of them. And not twist them. The body's going to be approximately three inches, and then the back legs are going to be the same as the first two legs. So, I'm, I'm, what is it about three inches? And not twist them. And you just want to leave enough to make a form a towel. Okay. Take the remaining balloon, and you want to make a loop. So you tie it like so. Then find the centre. Like so, so it's just there. And then what you want to do, I've uh, actually put a hole in this balloon, so what I'm doing now, you need to ignore, okay? You don't need to do this. I'm just making sure the, the I've got a bit of a little hole in the balloon. It looks like a fixed it. So what you now do is, um, now you've done that, you take one of the, you take, uh, do you, wanna, you do approximately about three inches from the end, give it a twist, push through one of the loops or one of the legs of the holes, secure it like so, then you repeat the other procedure, the other end, and you've got a, um, you might want to squeeze just there, okay, but first bubble just to form the nose properly just to form the shape and now you've got a nice little rotten horse had a bit of a disaster with that one didn't I but it did turn out too bad hello there and welcome to another edition of blue modeling made easy in this video I'm going to show you how to make an adjustable base cap. You're going to require two 260Q modeling balloons. You want to fully inflate one of the balloons. Then with the second balloon, 
you want to leave approximately one and a half inches uninflated. From the tine end, you want to make a bubble approximately an inch. You give that an ear twist. Then you need to take the knot and tie it round like so to secure it. Make approximately a five inch loop and twist, lock twist. Repeat the procedure. You've got two bubbles or two loops the same size. And you've got now what looks a lot like a sword, okay, but with a very small handle. If you've got any of the balloon uninflated, then you just want to give it a squeeze. Okay, this one's okay. You take the remaining balloon, which is fully inflated, you take one of the ends, place it through one of the loops, you take the other end, place it through one of the other loops, okay, then you want to line them up like so, all three balloons lined up, then you want to, I'm going to do approximately, you want to do approximately an inch from the end of each, of each part of the balloon, lock twist like so. It's a little bit small this, it's not going to fit my head, but that's the great thing about it being an adjustable baseball cap. All you need to do is adjust it like so, and you now have an adjustable baseball cap. Thank you for watching.